Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. I'm going to be looking at nudging this week. Nudging's a way of moving data up and down the timeline by a specified amount. You can specify that amount up here where it says nudge, and you can change that value either directly, you can base it in any time scale, so bars and beats, minutes and seconds, time code, whatever you want. A real handy shortcut is to use option and command and uh, plus and minus on the numeric keypad to change that value up and down. Conveniently, if you change option command for control option, you can do the same with your grid settings. Easy one to remember that. Anyway, nudging, if I create a clip, I can nudge it up and down the timeline using plus and minus on the numeric keypad. Most of nudging is based around the plus and minus keys on the numeric keypad. Here we go, nudge forwards, nudge back, plus moves forwards, minus moves back. Really handy. There are other things that you can do. There are some variations. Uh, if you hold shift, then you can, instead of shifting the clip, you can shift the selection, the edit selection, like so, which is quite useful. More useful still, I'd say, is using option. If you plus and minus with option, you can just nudge the head of the clip. And if you swap option for command, you can just nudge the tail of the clip. Really, really useful. Another nice one is if you've got a clip selected and you hold shift, you can change nudging the clip for nudging a selection the same size as the clip. There is a clever one, which I can't say I use very often, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a really good one to know about, which is if you hold control, instead of nudging the clip boundaries or the position of the clip, you can nudge the contents of the clip, leaving the clip where it is. So if you look here, I can nudge the contents of that clip backwards and forwards in time, which is uh, kind, of, kind of clever. There's a nice little trick that I, I think is a really good illustration of the, of the difference between a timeline and an edit selection. Incidentally, uh, this plus and minus key on the numeric pad, uh, it nudges the edit selection. If you want to nudge the timeline selection, if you've got them unlinked, uh, you can use comma or uh, full stop. Obviously, with command focus switched into the tracks display. You can also swap out and uh, do the next value up. So here we go, that's the next value up. And if you see that, they're moving. Uh, if actually, if I zoom out, you'll be able to see that timeline selection getting nudged up in the timeline ruler. So there we go, that's the difference. However, most of the time, most people should ordinarily have their timeline and edit selections linked, uh, which you can do from this button just here. I wrote a Pro Tools Fundamentals on linking timeline and edit selections and it's a really good thing to understand if you don't already. A nice little shortcut for that is uh, is shift and forward slash which unlinks and uh, links the timeline and edit selections. So what can you do with it? Well I've got a little uh, bass and drums kind of reggae thing which I, it'd be a nice thing to illustrate what you can do with it. I've unlinked my timeline and edit selections. What I can do is I can if we listen... Okay, uh, and what I can do is uh, say I wasn't happy about the position of this little rim shot just here and I wanted to perhaps push it slightly later but this wasn't recorded to a click. Um, I can just nudge, I can just look around and see if I can find it. So let's have a go at that. Okay, well, if I nudge that backwards a little bit, then that'll be slightly ahead of the beat. How does that sound? Hmm. What about later? Later still? Too late. How about splitting the difference? Uh, if I hold command and option and hit minus, I can change the nudge value down from 1,000 samples to 100, and then if I just knock it f if I knock it backwards, maybe, well, 300 samples. Still slightly late. 
may be. Anyway, you get the idea. This is a really nice illustration of why sometimes you might want to unlink your timeline and edit selections. I couldn't do this if I had my timeline and edit selections linked because I've got a different section looping, my timeline selection, compared to the thing that I'm moving around and I've got selected my edit selection. If I unlink them, they can be different from each other. Anyway, nudging. Brilliant, get into it. It's something you need an extended keyboard for, and I think I've said something about that already. But uh, yeah, if you don't already know, plus and minus on the numeric keypad and its variations, have a go. Particularly the option and command variations where you can uh, trim the head and the tail of the edit selection independently. And uh, also that option command plus minus to change your trim values up and down. Really, really handy. Anyway, see you next time.